with us. It's been a week since Bihar Education Minister, after addressing a university program, made remarks against Hindu text Ramcharitmanas, which is Tulsi Das's rendition of Ramayana. Bihar Minister Chandrasekhar, remember, had admonished Ramcharitmanas, calling it divisive and hateful to backward classes. While Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar of the JDU has objected to his comment after much pressure, all he has done is express his inability to do anything else. Because the minister concerned comes from alliance partner RJD under their quota. There is no action by the chief minister. So what does the RJD say on this issue? Its leader Tejashvi Yadav endorsed his party men's comments saying everyone has freedom of speech in India given by the constitution. Do you know what the same RJD was saying and doing on Nupur Sharma's comment on the prophet for example? They had called her words poisonous blamed BJP for spreading linguistic terror in India and make brothers fight with brothers. One of them said they will write to the president to demand strict action against Nupur. Today, many RJD members say that Chandrasekhar's comment have a context, that he's only talking about a few lines in Ram Charitmanas. Let me add, the minister actually wanted Ram Charitmanas to be burnt like Manu Smriti, he said. So there is context to attack on Hindu texts. Nupur Sharma was only quoting her text. Many Islamic scholars themselves have argued that what she said was correct as per Islamic text. Then what was all the outrage about? And if what she did was wrong because it hurt sentiment, why is the same yardstick not applied to the RJD minister? After all, he is not a party spokesperson but an actual minister. That to an education minister. What if he carries these biases against Hindu texts into his policies, his decisions? But alas, there is no condemnation or outrage over his comments. His comments have a context. Today we remember freedom of speech. All of this was forgotten, forgotten earlier to the extent that there was widespread writing in India. And Nupur's life continues to be in danger till today. You know the kicker in all of this? It is Hindus who are called intolerant in India. We debate the clear hypocrisy and duplicity over freedom of speech in India, especially when it comes to religious beliefs. Why is this a one-way street? We take this to our guests in just a bit, but let me break down this duplicity. Remember what Mamta Banerjee said, let me point out, on Nupur Sharma. She said, we strongly condemn these remarks. There's a greater design to spread hate as far as this comment is concerned. On the Bihar uh, Education Minister's comment, no comment. Akhilesh Yadav on Nupur, he said that not only Nupur, the body which he meant the BJP should also apologize and be punished for these comments. On Bihar minister, he is virtually backed his comment saying we are not in favor of anything that creates distance and discrimination. Basically, he is suggesting that he agrees with Chandrasekhar that Ram Charitamanas does so because he also quoted some other Hindu writers to put it in context. P. Chidamram, senior Congress leader, on Nupur Sharma, he had said that she is not the original creator of Islamophobia. These people are only trying to be more loyal than the king, basically that her bosses are worse. On Bihar minister, no comment. Congress is of course a player in uh, Bihar, close to the RJD. Let's talk about the RJD itself, the party that the minister belongs to. On Nupur, as I mentioned, they had said that these are poisonous words of BJP. And these are well-planned actions. These poisonous words are well-planned by BJP leaders because they want to spread division and hatred amongst the society and amongst different communities. On Bihar minister, they are saying that everyone has a right to express in a democracy. Then why not for Nupur? Debate what she said too. It's not a matter of debate anymore, in fact. It's an established fact that there is hypocrisy on respect for religions in India, where there's been a consistent one-way attack on Hinduism because we are just supposed to take it. Remember, 2007, UPA government had said that there is no historical proof of Ram. Okay, but will they question the religious figures from other faiths? Will they say the same for them? 2009, Rahul Gandhi, senior Congress leader, had said that radical Hindu groups are a bigger threat to India in context of Islamic terror. Will they condemn Islamic terror, shades of which we see day in, day out? even in India and abroad. 2021, comedian Faruqi had made indecent remarks in full public view on tape on Hindu deities. I ask, will a comedian survive? 
post comments on other religions and their figures and this is not a rhetorical question this is a very real question remember salman rushdie was attacked almost fatally decades after his book satanic verses that was not even a comedy show just this month jagdanand singh of the rjd had said that ram temple is being built on hate i wonder why are they silent on the hate of the invaders who destroyed the original ram temple now this month again bihar minister chandrashekar says that ram charitamana spreads hate he has buckled out he has said he has said nothing wrong his party has also defended him why are they silent on other religious texts is everyone preaching love only so the big debate that's coming up today is free speech a one way street in india and if so why देश किससे चलता है मेरा मानना है कि देश का जो संविधान है वो सबसे पवित्र किताब है और देश जो है संविधान से चलता है और इस संविधान में सबको आजादी है कि भाई अपनी बात वो रख सके लेकिन संविधान ये भी बताता है कि यहाँ हर धर्म का मान और सम्मान जो है किया जाना चाहिए का व्यू है कोई भी धर्म को मानने वाला हो उसमें किसी भी तरह तक उसमें इंटरफेरेंस नहीं करना चाहिए Let's take this to our guest joining us Dhananjay Giri is from the BJP Amjad Tamanna is joining us from the RJD I'm also joined by Alak Alok Srivastava who's advocate on record in Supreme Court Professor Sangeet Ragi political analyst leans towards the RSS is joining us Atiqur Rahman is Islamic scholar Professor Sangeet Ragi why don't I begin with you Is it uh, any debate anymore that there is clear duplicity and hypocrisy on what you can say on religion who you can criticize what you can question in india uh, uh i would begin with uh, something else uh, siwani did you hear uh, in any part of the country that uh, the heads of the head of the person the minister should be rolled down did you hear any in any part of the country that the hindus are st- on streets and say sir tan se juda no why because we have always been so liberal always have been so generous and mo- most importantly we have allowed criticism of of the faith yeah of the faith and also they have questioned we have a charvak darshan where the material materialist culture is material materialism the materialism is uh, completely debunking the whole spiritual legacy now here is uh, swami dayanand saraswati who is questioning deity you know mm-hmm. popular hinduism but nobody has issued any kind of a fatwa against them this is our culture and therefore we never believe in you know making uh, you know any abusive languages against any religion mm. look at others when somebody is quoting some some portion from a particular scripture mm. then see or he is subjected to death warrant this is not only in india Global. everywhere in the world it's a global phenomena so you can you can see the difference and uh, since i'm telling you it would all have stopped had the hindus community would have also reacted in a way that is the muslim community reacts whether we should or not i'll come to that question no, in just I, a bit no i i i i want to add quickly i want to add hmm. the hindu society should not act the way other muslim okay. community but act. at the same time in a hindu majority but at the country, same time but at the same time just two, two seconds just two hindu, seconds one second in a country with vast historical hindu faith and of course the faith comes from this land the culture comes from this land uh, hindu faith and culture sanatan dharma very intrinsically linked they can't be divorced from each other you cannot also have people who have different standards of how each religion should be treated my question is on duplicity either you condemn both or you accept both let me take that to our rjd representative amjad tamanna is joining us simple sa sawal amjad ji sirf yahi hai 
कि जब नुपुर शर्मा कुछ बोलती हैं तो आपके लोगों ने प्रोटेस्ट तक किया था और आप तो उलेमाओं के साथ मिलके आपने जवाब दे ही मांगी थी नुपुर शर्मा की और बीजेपी की एक्शन मांगा था पनिशमेंट मांगा था आपके मिनिस्टर जो बोल रहे हैं उस पर आप सेम क्यों नहीं प्रतिज्ञा करते हो नहीं जो मन, ए, हमारे शिक्षा मंत्री चंद्रशेखर जी का जो बयान है उसको तोड़ मोड़ के पेश किया गया उसको धर्म के आड़ में आपकी तफरका फैलाने की कोशिश की जा रही है कैसे तोड़ा मोड़ा है बताइए की एक बहुत बड़ी साजिश है कैसे साजिश है आप बताइए ना मैंने सुना तेजस्वी जी का बयान भी वो साजिश 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 कर रहे हैं कैसे साजिश है बताइए ना नहीं दे, देश देश संविधान से चलेगा देश जो है धर्म से थोड़ी चलेगा तो हमने तो नहीं बोला चलेगा ये कहा है कि मोहब्बत से देश को चलाया जाएगा नफरत से नहीं चलाया जा सकता है तो इससे कौन इनकार कर रहा है मैं आपसे पूछ रही हूँ उन्होंने जो रामचरित्र मानस के ऊपर बोला उसके बारे में बताइए ना यही किसी और किताब के बारे में बोला होता तो क्या आप मानते नहीं हमारी हमारी पार्टी हमारी पार्टी सारे धर्मो का सम्मान करती है लोग है और ऐसा अगर कैसे हो सकता है किसी और धर्म का कोई विरोध कर सकता है ये सरासर जो है इल्जाम है और ये बेबुनियाद इल्जाम है बिल्कुल नहीं है सर आप कितना भी इसको झूठा समझाने की कोशिश करिए उन्होंने ऑन कैमरा ये बाइट दी है उसके बाद एक दिन तो बाद उन्होंने, उन्होंने उसके एक दिन बाद तो उन्होंने कहा है, है कि मैंने कुछ गलत नहीं बोला मैं दोबारा बोलता हूँ जा सकता है नहीं नहीं आप रुकी एक सेकेंड रुकी अमजद जी रुकी देखिये ऐसे मच्योर डिबेट नहीं हो सकती की आप बस ये बोल दे की ये साजिश है ये सबने सुना है आप आपको पता ही होगा ये सबने उठाया है हमने भी सुना है हमने भी देखा है तो बताइए क्या बोला था हमने बताइए बार में भी उन्होंने कहा है आखिरी बार में भी उन्होंने कहा है कि मोहब्बत से चलेगा देश वो बात ठीक है रामचरित्र मानस पे क्या बोला है उन्होंने ये बताइए ना अगर देखिए अगर आपको लगता है तो सरकार बैठी है सरकार इसके बारे में जाँच करेगी उस पर जो भी कार्रवाई किया जाए किया जाएगा मैंने तो नहीं बोला कार्रवाई के लिए मैं आपसे पहले तो ये समझन, समझने की कोशिश कर रही हूँ कि आप इनकार कैसे कर रहे हैं कि जो उन्होंने बोला यही किसी और धर्म की किताब के ऊपर बोला होता तो आप ऐसे नहीं बोलते नहीं किसी भी धर्म के खिलाफ अगर कोई बात होती है तो उसका विरोध होना चाहिए तो आपने अपने मिनिस्टर में एक्शन क्यों नहीं लिया तेजस्वी यादव आज आके बोल रहे हैं की कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन से हमें फ्रीडम मिलती है तो नुपुर शर्मा के पास फ्रीडम नहीं थी क्या नहीं बिल्कुल फ्रीडम है तो फिर आपने मतलब क्यों ऑब्जेक्ट किया था नहीं हमारे हमारे उप मुख्यमंत्री माननीय तेजस्वी जी ने कहा है कि देश जो है संविधान से चलता है ये सबको तो पता है उनको कहने की जरूरत नहीं, नहीं है आप अपनी डुप्लिसिटी बताइए ना आप तो इनकार कर रहे हैं कि आपके मिनिस्टर ने क्या बोला है मैं एक्चुअली बीजेपी रिप्रेजेंटेटिव के पास जाना चाहती हूँ गिरी जी के पास गिरी जी आप ही के पार्टी के जो प्रवक्ता है निखिल आनंद उन्होंने एक वीडियो जारी किया था जिसमें ये सेम एजुकेशन मिनिस्टर ये बोलते हुए सुनाई दे रहे हैं कि इस्लाम इज दी ओनली रिलीजन दैट गिव्स मैसेज ऑफ लव एंड ऑनेस्टी अब आप इनके दोनों बयानों को कंपेयर कर लें तो ये तो बहुत मोटिवेटेड इंडिविजुअल लग रहे हैं शिवानी जी देखिए ये एक ट्रेंड बन गया है भारतवर्ष में एक पूरी तरह से ट्रेंड बन गया है कि बहुसंख्यक समाज को इस देश के सनातनियों को हिंदुओं को टारगेट किया जाए उनके फेथ पर उनके रिलीजन पर हमला किया जाए ये सोची समझी साजिश का हिस्सा है या अपेजमेंट पॉलिटिक्स का हिस्सा है अगर आप चंद्रशेखर के दोनों बयान को उठाकर देखिए एक दिन उन्होंने बयान दिया दूसरे दिन उन्होंने उसको फिर उसकी तस्दीक की कि हाँ मैं उस पर एग्री हूँ तीसरे दिन उन्होंने फिर उस बात को कहा कि ना मैं उस जिस बात पे कायम हूँ और वही नहीं उनकी पूरी पार्टी खड़ी है और मोर और लेस जो डिप्टी चीफ चीफ मिनिस्टर ने जो बात कही है उससे वो उसकी बात को इंडोर्स ही कर रहे हैं वो उनको कंडेम नहीं कर रहे हैं और सबसे बड़ी बात पैथेटिक सिचुएशन जो है वो बिहार की ये है कि मुख्यमंत्री नीतीश कुमार जो बात कर रहे हैं वो एडवाइजर के भूमिका में है वो एडवाइस दे रहे हैं कि किसी को भी नहीं बोलना चाहिए लेकिन जो बोल चुका है उस पर मानने पर आप क्या कार्यवाही करेंगे न सीएम तैयार है न डिप्टी सीएम तैयार है यहाँ सब लोग राय दे रहे हैं और अगर आपने किसी अन्य धर्म के खिलाफ बोला होता तो आज रोड पर छाती पीट रहे होते एक ही सजा सरतन से जुदा सरतन से जुदा संविधान से चलेगा गुलाम गुस्ताख रसूल की एक ही सजा सरतन से जुदा सरतन से जुदा देश संविधान से चलेगा ये तो तब भी कह रहे थे लोग नाच चल रहा होता गिरी जी एक सेकेंड ये देश संविधान से चलेगा उसको किसी से ऐतराज नहीं है ये तो हम तब भी कह रहे थे जब नुपुर शर्मा की गर्दन काटने की लोग बात कर रहे थे जब तो उदयपुर में रुक जाइए उदयपुर में कन्हैया लाल की गर्दन काट गई काट दी तब भी लोग यही कह रहे थे कि संविधान से देश चलना चाहिए मैं सिर्फ ये पूछ रही हूँ कि आप आप मैं सुना देती हूँ आपको 
आपके एक स्पोक्स पर्सन है मृत्युंजय तिवारी उन्होंने चंद्रशेखर के बयान पे क्या बोला कि हिज कॉन्टेक्स्ट वॉज डिफरेंट ही इज नॉट क्वेश्चनिंग लॉर्ड राम और रामायण ही इज ओनली रेजिंग क्वेश्चन ऑन अ फ्यू पर्टिकुलर सेंटेंसेज फेर इनफ कोई दिक्कत नहीं नुपुर शर्मा में क्या बोला था मृत्युंजय तिवारी ने दीज आर एफर्ट्स टू डाइवर्ट द कंट्री फ्रॉम रियल इश्यूज पॉइजनस वर्ड्स ऑफ बीजेपी लीडर्स एंड स्पोक्स पर्सन आर वेल प्लान द काइंड ऑफ लिंग्विस्टिक टेरर दैट बीजेपी वॉन्ट्स टू क्रिएट टू मेक ब्रदर्स फाइट विद ब्रदर्स इट्स नॉट सरप्राइजिंग तब आपको हेट दिखती है इसमें आपको हेट नहीं दिखी थी शर्मा ने इस्लाम के प्रवर्तक पर उंगली उठाई थी यहाँ कोई धर्म पर उंगली नहीं उठाया उन्होंने ये कहा है कि रामचरित मानस से देश को और देश के गरीबों को फायदा नहीं है अब आप मान रहे हैं कि रामचरित मानस पे कुछ बोला है धर्म का विरोध नहीं पहले तो आप मान नहीं रहे थे एग्जैक्टली आप उनके वर्ड्स को बहुत मॉडिफाई कर रहे हैं संगीत रागी उन्होंने क्लियरली बोला था कि रामचरित मानस नफरत फैलाती है बैकवर्ड क्लासेस और विमेन के खिलाफ उन्होंने उन्होंने कहा था कि इसको मनुस्मृति की तरह जला देना चाहिए अब आप शर्म ना करें उनके बयान से एग्जैक्टली शिवानी शिवानी ही द मिनिस्टर हैड स्पोकन ए लैंग्वेज ऑफ हेट अगेंस्ट रामचरित मानस एंड कंक्लूडेड दैट रामचरित मानस कंसेप्ट ऑफ हेट अगेंस्ट दलित मुस्लिम एंड अदर कम्युनिटीज so it should be treated just like as manu smriti despite the fact that people the people do not know about the manu smriti uh, manu smriti is just one of the uh, smritis several smritis and geeta is is said to be the ardhi my 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 answer to them is very clear why rahul gandhi why the congress party is not coming out on a street to oppose the minister why the secular brigade including those journalist who used to take pride in going to the social media and you know uh, hurling several kind of parabolic uh, speeches and the sentences on the screen are make, maintaining a stoic silence today mm. that's my question yeah that is my just question just because just because hindus tolerate all abuses tomorrow and uh, one uh, i'm making it uh, tomorrow if they, they are making that way hindu aggressive and hindus start if uh, you know responding in the same fashion the muslim mm-hmm. community does then nobody should be he- no nobody should hold hindu community responsible for that because they are cornering and you know that ek cheeti bhi yadi usko corner kare hote hain to kaatti hai if you if you behave this way then the hindus awareness would be trying to respond in a consolidated manner you never have thought you never would have thought of yeah, the worst that is, is what is happening the from worst people the worst kind of secularism that the congress party practiced in last 70 years and, and that is why it has become party. part of our that is why the hindus are reacting it has become part of our nature that we don't react yes yeah. mr giri please finish i'll i'll go across to mr shrivastav next you have asked for the minister to be sacked but it doesn't look like either the rjd or the jdu are going to do it see chandrasekhar has done blunder he must leave the post on his police worth Everyone is shocked on his worthless speech in Nalanda University. People are puzzled with Nitish and his incompetent cop. It is very easy to understand the mindset of people on Lord Ram. We breath, meet, eat, sleep, and die with the name Ram Nam Satya. So, so, so he is Almighty for us. Chandrasekhar represents him as a pers- person of hate through the symbolic attack on the Ram Chaitanya Manas. He has no right to hold the post in Bihar where Ram Chaitanya Manas was firstly cited. And you know who has written first Ram Ramayana? Maharshi Valmiki. In now in in nowadays, if today's context, if you will talk, who in which community? In Valmiki community belongs to which? So Ram is the ever time iconic pick, uh, f- a fellow of of our or any Hindu Sanatani. or indian society so he attacked directly on ram charitra manas and on ram so he must be sacked and now a day today in now in today's context if you are talking about bihar chief minister mr nitish kumar he become advisor so a chief minister has not a role to give advice chief minister is the person who has to take action if anyone does anything wrong in his the cabinet member hmm. and he is the cabinet member of him so, so how pathetic situation of bihar no, you right you Just look at imagine. the comments the tone and tenor of how someone will even if they do condemn first of all they won't they won't bother as i have just shown if somebody condemns or criticizes a hindu text or slams hinduism they will say it's okay we come from a culture where we tolerate this we promote debate we promote internal criticism all of that is fine i am for it too 
but apply Surely, those standards equally I'll, I'll to just, all. You cannot make exceptionalism I, for one while others can fend for themselves. It doesn't work like that in a secular democracy. Standards have to be same. I go across to Alak Alok Srivastava, who's an advocate. Unfortunately, Alak, <coughs> the problem in the country is that even the legal judicial system views insult of Hinduism versus insult of other religions differently. Different. And we have seen that That's play true. out repeatedly. See, uh, kindly give me two minutes uninterrupted. First and foremost, I would like to tell you the context in which these verses have been quoted in Ram Charitmanas. There is a uh, discussion between Kak Bhushundi and Garud in Uttar Kand of Ram Charitmanas, wherein certain things have been narrated by Kak Bhushundi in his own version about his last birth. That is one verse which the said minister of Bihar has quoted. Second verse pertains to a response given by uh, C when Bhagwan Ram, Lord Ram was trying to cross the sea and go to uh, Lanka and he was angry. So these two verses have been absolutely quoted in, in without any context, without assigning the, re the meaning which has been assigned by Sri Tulsi Das Ji in the Ram Charitmanas. So this minister has definitely said something which is incorrect and out of context. I give him open challenge and I'm, I'm really uh, thankful to you that you have provided me this platform national uh, television today. I, I give him open challenge if he can debate with me or he can debate with anyone who has really, really read Ram Charitmanas. These two things which he has quoted are out of context, are not the preachings or some, some, some teachings which have been given in the Ram Charitmanas. So, so he should apologize for that. Now, th this is uh, about what he has said. Now, co second question is why he has said so. The first reason is definitely for appeasement politics. The second reason is to create divide in Hindu society. And you know, if we see the history, starting from Pakistan, formation of or creation of Pakistan to creation of Bangladesh to Kashmir unrest, we see that how Hindus have been divided and then their genocides and they, were, they have been expelled from the, their own land. So these are all subtle efforts to somehow create unrest and divide in the Hindu community. Now coming to the constitution which Mr. Tejasvi, Tejasvi Yadav referred. Constitution not only gives a right to freedom of speech and expression, that right is not an absolute right. As a lawyer, I am aware and you are also aware that that right is bound by the provisions of Article 19.2, which say that if your speeches, your expressions are going to, to incite some offense, are going to cause some offense in India, you are not allowed to say so. No, now, no, this one second, one second. This is exactly what I am coming at. Look, I appreciate now, your intervention. Just give me 60 seconds. I'll come back to you. One, one second. No, let me intervene here. Give me 60 seconds. The constitution is. I'll give you 60 seconds. Let me intervene. The constitution is not equally applied on no. all speech. That is my contention. Look at what the Precisely. court said on Nupur Precisely. Sharma. Absolutely Even though what she has said is written in Islamic text. There is a double standard. No, no, but ultimately, see, ultimately, if you if you are questioning Supreme Court, see, there are all kind of judgments. The same Nupur Sharma was ultimately provided protection. That by was Supreme an observation. Court, so it wasn't a judgment. On that. There are we no have judgments. that much to thank for. No, no, ultimately, yes, yes. But see, kindly, kindly, just uh, hear me for few more seconds. What no, I'm trying to say is this: Supreme Court. So, the person finish. who is now now citing Constitution, like, uh, yeah. The, 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 the Deputy Chief Minister of Bihar who is now taking shelter of constitution instead of apologizing on behalf of his minister and mm. uh, instead of kicking him out from the cabinet, he should read the constitution properly. Constitution nowhere allows his ministers to say these things to hurt the sentiments of Hindu people. And as you very rightly said at the outset, that just because Hindus are tolerant, this should not become a fashion to corner them, to abuse them, to humiliate them to an extent which is absolutely not tolerable. Kindly see, these are all provocations given to Hindus and these are all being done for petty political benefits and I believe that the only solution lies with the with the people. <coughs> people have to boycott this, this kind of ministers. If this person is taken away from his ministerial birth, okay. he won't Can be I having any relevance. Exactly he won't be shown in the media. So, so, so what I feel is Hindus there, has to, be, in there India has to be are the people there has to be who legal repeatedly action. are guilty of ignoring insults to Hindus. If these insults were not ignored if there was not systemic bias against Hindus in our warped secularism in the country, frankly, there would be no need for quote-unquote Hindutva in the country. So they are responsible for the Hindutva we that are we so not, hate. We are very civilized. I want to go across to Atiku Rahman. Alak, please we concede. Are very civilized please see it. Please see it. I have to go to our other guest. Atiku Rahman, the problem is exactly this. You know, when tempers, you know, uh, are hot, because we repeatedly see 
different standards and yardsticks applied to somebody's faith and somebody's sentiments. That is the problem there is division in society. Otherwise, there is no division. Everybody wants to equally have respect for their religion. No, Shivani, please, I have a very different take on this. But please allow me to complete my say. First of all, we and I, mainly the liberal Muslims, have always uh, held the Hindu community in high esteem about their tolerance, their level of tolerance. We want to uproot the Ayatollah Khomeini's from our communities. So why should we tolerate and we want to create Ayatollah Khomeini's in some other religions? Point one. On the issue of Nupur Sharma, I had an all the channel said that the illegal Muslim university, the Muslim clergy, the Hindu, uh, this thing, Mahasabha, the, the, the Banaras Hindu University, and all experts of Hinduism and Islam, they should create a platform and challenge all people, all commoners, if they have any doubts re regarding oh, any deities of any religion, in particular, if they have doubt re regarding Islam and Prophet Muhammad, they should speak anything, but we should clarify. Hmm. Let us create that platform. Hmm. Let us have the liberty of the people to speak. No religion is so soft that a politician can ravage it in these obnoxious terms. No. Hinduism is quite a sublime religion. Islam too is a sublime religion. Let the people say anything. No, but it doesn't happen. No, Atiko Rahman, unfortunately, Shibani, one second, sir. It doesn't happen. You look people. at the fanaticism in the name of blasphemy amongst Muslims. It's not just in phenomena in India. It happens in Pakistan. It is happening in America. I mean, Salman Rushdie has been attacked almost fatally for what? So it's very easy to say that it's, it doesn't Shibani, come from Islam. I buy you, buy that argument. But it is very much followed by Muslims. Shibani, and that exceptionalism and fanaticism has been tiptoed around and virtually allowed in one community, I'm sorry to say. Sangeet Raghi wants to comment. I want to, very, uh, I want to make a very important comment. Uh, Hinduism doesn't make distinction between self and others. Whereas Islam and Christianity both make distinction between self and others. There is a concept of kafir, there is a concept of imanwala. Those who do not believe in the Prophet, those who do not believe in the last judgment day, those who don't believe in Quran, you know, you can you can deny Mr. Atikur Rahman. You can deny you. You deny Mr. Atikur Rahman, but the religion which is in practice and where 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 which I can claim that globally the way the terrorist organization have been propagating Islam, the fashion, the way it has worked in last 1400 century, it has worked in the same phase. There you have you read out the you know the text of the medieval uh, era, one after another. What they have done, they have done jihad against the kafirs. Okay. We for them are the kafirs. So until and unless my I agree, so I appreciate I your I appreciate your liberal person. But it is possible only when the Islamic scholar debunk the concept of kafir the way it is practiced all over the world. Okay, this is not the, the central religions. focus of my debate. My central focus is just this apply the same standards and yardsticks on people's feelings and hurt sentiments. One cannot be allowed to riot in the name of hurt sentiments while the others are just ignored and trampled upon. That's my basic point. And I am all for debate and discussion as Atika Rahman is saying. Let there be criticism. Frankly, that message or that, uh, uh, you know, I'm sorry to say, but that message need not be given to Hinduism. Hinduism, it, it's inbuilt in Hinduism. Exactly. Their own scholars criticize Hinduism all the time. I'm sorry that culture does not exist in other religions. Not That's as much. We have to accept it. But at least in a secular democratic country, we must apply the standards the same. Set the same benchmark. Yes, Atikur. Absolutely. absolutely. No, Shivani, Shivani, you see, we are mixing up the things. Hmm. If a person is deliberately politicizing and denouncing something, hmm. it's uncalled for. And the law, it's a question of law. It's not a question of religion. Hmm. What Mr. Sangeet Raghi is saying is, 
Islam forbids people to inherit anything beyond Allah, which is wrong. The Quran implicitly describes all faiths are very much invited by Allah. The people should compete among themselves in righteousness. The only people going to heaven is not the Muslims, but the righteous people. Okay. May they belong, be they belong to any faith. I'm not here to they may be Hindus, they may be Parsis, they may be Christians. That's fair enough. Frankly, this is not meant to be a debate on religion or on theology. The exactly. basic point is just that whatever is the sentiment of one community should also be granted as the sentiment of another community. Yes, Alak, I have 30 seconds. Final comments. Completely agree with you and I appreciate the, the comments which you made at the outset of this program. There is a double standard. If you see Rahul Gandhi, if you see the opposition leaders, if you see the society, no one is criticizing Mr. Chansekhar as uh, Nupur Sarma was criticized. Nupur Sarma was expelled from the party. She is not in the party right now, whereas no action has been taken on Chansekhar and he is being encouraged by the party leaders mm. and party chiefs. So that is a very damaging and, and, and it's really, really concerning trend which is going on. There has to be a, a common sentiment. There ca can't be any double standard e either point. in the political parties or in the society. Okay, and what I'm saying 20 is, seconds, please. I'm not saying that we should also become uncivilized. Absolutely yeah, not. Nobody is for it. I am for debate and discussion on even the contentious portions yeah. of any book. I am for that. But what was Nupur Sharma then condemned for? No. Yes, Atiko Rahman. Shivani, if if anybody, be it Nupur Sharma, is having any misconceptions regarding the Prophet, it is a blot on me, my community. We were unable to explain the correct position of the Quran and Prophet Muhammad, and that is why the misconception. But they, we didn't see that. Today. Unfortunately, we, we didn't see that same response. Unfortunately, we didn't see that same response. You may be alone in oh, this. My fight continues. Fight continues. Okay, I leave it at that. I leave it at that. I thank all of our guests for joining us. Our uh, second big.